going on everyone welcome back to another video getting ready and me in the kitchen about to get ready yes sir all right uh, i'm gonna put that over there then. all right guys we're here located in baltimore city it's a tight squeeze tight street but we're gonna make it work i'm gonna have to put you guys on on my hip for this one i'm gonna try to knock this job out uh quick so see you guys in the field See, we got the big hutch table, all these chairs. We're gonna load this stuff up next, and some more stuff. That's going on frames, rails, and that. Oh, that's still heavy. So it's heavy because it's literally imprinted into the floor. That's why. I 
<laughs> so that dresser, it's uh, it's glued into the floor. That's why it's already hooked up. So we gotta hold down one end, rip it off the floor, to get it off. What? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so once once I lift this up, you're gonna see the carpet lifts up too. Got the dresser, mini, nightstand. Uh, what is that? The china set, uh, other dresser, couches and stuff out. We just got a mattress to bring down, and that's it. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip this around, get it loaded up. Got majority of the stuff loaded on the back of the dump trailer. Now we just gotta load up the couch, and uh, we'll be good to go. Load up the couch, check the load, make sure everything's secure, and we'll be done.
Oh, I'll yeah, be loaded at the... <laughs> That's how all customers, uh, <laughs> every time they see us pull up, they're like, I don't know how you guys gonna load it. But then when we got it loaded, it's like, how did you do that? <laughs> All right, so this is the load here. This is the load here. Just checking the load, getting her ready to uh, drop it off to the landfill. So this is the next next business day. Everything's nice and tight. So we're gonna take this big boy on the road and pretty much get everything unload it we are here at the landfill it's gonna be a bumpy ride up there we are going to make it I'm trying to tell you so i'm honestly looking at you know getting some air suspension for my rear But also, um, I'm looking at uh, getting some more uh, rugged uh, suspension on this truck. Uh, right now, we got stock suspension on this truck, and it's doing fairly well. It's, doing, it's been doing fairly well. It definitely would be nice and lovely to, uh, you know, upgrade from a gas truck to a diesel. But that all has to come, you know within the rightful time, financial, okay? I'm not trying to go broke and going all out and big. I'm trying to work with what I have until the right time presents the opportunity to fully upgrade. Kind of slowing down because of these ruts. I don't want to be like that. Uh, it was a a driver that I seen previously. He was just bouncing around, bouncing around, and um, he ended up losing his grill that was on the back of his truck. He had a smoker grill, and the dude lost it. I'm gonna sit and wait our turn. We'll probably go over there. Uh, on our far right next to uh, the forts. So we'll see. And then sometimes they put us over there with the other trucks. Oh, yeah, 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 yep, yep, they're definitely gonna move us over there. We just gotta wait until those, uh, those trucks over there. Finish pushing the trash back. Oh, man, oh, man. What's going on, man? All right, all right. Give it a second, let him clean it up a little bit over there. All right.
Alright guys, I don't know if you guys actually caught it, but I think that was a, a F-150 that was spinning, spinning its tires. I think it was. Let's get ready to rock and roll. I'm gonna go ahead and dump it. Yep, everything's ready to come down. So let me go ahead and pull it and see where we go. Oh, yuck. What the heck? Oh my gosh, I totally got the wrong shoes on today. Got a bunch of yuck all over my shoes. Oh gosh, it is so milky. All right, let's go ahead and pull it. Right, let's go ahead and see where we at. Good to go. There's the stuff. Uh, we just got a twig left. That's it. Lock her up and roll. What's gonna be out damage for today? And that is the ultimate question of the day.
the Tundra is not in four wheel drive since it's landed at the landfill. It's in two wheel drive, okay? It's dry train system on this truck. It's very dependent when it comes to off roads, even, uh, you know, wet conditions, especially uh, with the tire setup that I have on this truck. I gotta tell you, I love these tires. I absolutely love them. Yes, yeah, sir. We are driving down this hill. window because uh, for some reason it looks like a uh, some sort of flies attracted to like the sunlight reflecting off the mirror <laughs> so with the fly kept trying to fly into my window but uh yeah man this thing right here uh, there it goes again but uh yeah this thing right here i tell you i love this truck i absolutely love this truck It's a very, very capable truck. You want to use it for just general home use, okay? No problem. You want to start taking her off road, okay? No problem. You want to start using it for business, okay? No problem. All right, guys, that is it. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. I'm in my plane clothes right now because we're not working. We're just at the landfill dumping. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. And definitely don't forget to uh, drop a comment. Let me know what you're doing, what you're hauling, what you're bought, what you're junking, and what you uh, recycling. You know, flipping some junk. Yeah. Anyway, stay tuned for the next episode. Peace.